Hi there. Welcome to this tutorial on areas of sectors. And what I'm going to do is show you how we can generally find the area of a sector and the arc length. And to do this, what I've got here is two very common sectors, a semicircle and in this one, a quadrant. Now, let's just say we had to work out the area of the semicircle then there's every chance that you'd most probably say the area is equal to a half the area of a complete circle. And do this sum, half of the area of the complete circle, which would be pi r squared. And if we were looking for the arc length, then that arc length, let's say we call it L, then that arc length would be half of the distance round the complete circle, the circumference in other words. So half of the circumference and the formula for circumference is 2 pi r or you could use pi times the diameter. So we'll just mark that in as being the radius there. And if we came to our quadrant then for this particular area it's quarter of the area of a circle. So again, if we just look at this, the area would be equal to one quarter of the area of a circle. So times pi r squared. And the arc length L, let's just put that in here, arc length, well, that's just going to be a quarter again of the circumference, a quarter of the times and the circumference 2 pi r then. So where am I going with this? Well, when it comes to sectors in general rather than these two specific ones, when we have a sector we've got an angle in here and that angle let's say is the angle theta, theta degrees and it comes from a circle of radius r. So when I worked out this area here, it was pretty obvious it was half the area of a complete circle. But looking at this angle round here, this angle here was 180 degrees. So what I'm doing is I'm comparing the 180 degrees to the complete turn round there, 360 degrees. So if I take this half out, really what I've got is 180 degrees compared to 360 degrees and that cancels 180 into 180 goes 1 and 180 into 360 goes 2 so we get half the area of a complete circle and the same is going to be true for the arc length it's going to be 180 degrees over 360 degrees now you don't have to write the degrees in because they're the same units. We're just creating a fraction and that fraction again is one half. So it's one half of the circumference. So when it comes to a quadrant, this angle in here was a right angle, 90 degrees. And so we get our quarter quite easily when we compare 90 degrees with 360 degrees. And again, I'm not putting the degrees in it reduces down to one quarter. So you can see hopefully where this is going for the sector in general. I'll just finish this off, that'll be one quarter. So when it comes to a sector in general, then the area has got to be equal to theta degrees over 360 degrees and it's going to be that fraction of the area of a complete circle pi r squared and to finish this we've got the arc length and that arc length L let's say will be again a fraction theta over 360 degrees of times the circumference 2 pi r so you should be able to build these simple formulas up just by simple reasoning. 
Now, what I've got here is an example which you might like to try. It's to find the area and the perimeter, and I do stress the perimeter here, of this particular sector. It's come from a circle of radius 6 centimetres, and the angle here is 142 degrees. So, if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment then to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then. Let's just see how you got on. Well, the area is going to be a fraction of the area of a complete circle. That fraction then is 142 360ths of to times the area of the circle, pi r squared then, the radius being 6, so it's pi times 6 squared. Now if you had to give this in terms of pi, remember what we just got to work out then would be 142 divided by 360 times 6 squared, and that comes to 14.2, and then you'd just leave the pi in. So that would be your answer if it was asking for in terms of pi. If we want it as a decimal, then I've got to enter pi as its value, 3.14, etc. So 14.2 times pi, if you do it on your calculator, will give you 44.61 and so on. And if we round this, say, to three significant figures, it will be 44.6 centimetre squares. Don't forget those units to, say, three significant figures, 3SF for short. Now when it comes to the perimeter of the sector, just got to be careful here because the perimeter is equal to then the total distance around our sector. So we need to work out what this arc length is and to that add 6 and another 6, a total of 12 in other words. So for the arc length, it's going to be a fraction of the circumference. That fraction will be at 142 360ths then of the circumference. That's 2 times pi times the radius, which would be 6. And that's the arc length. And to this, we've got to add the 2 6 centimetres. So I'll put 6 plus 6. And if you work this out on your calculator, you'll find you get 26 0.870 and so on. And if we round this one up to say three significant figures, then it's going to be 26.9 centimeters to three significant figures, 3SF for short. Okay, well, hope you're able to get those, and if not, you've been able to see where you might have gone wrong. But I hope this video has given you some idea then how we go about finding areas and arc lengths of sectors.